What is up my dudes, Dano John here coming at you with my first place undefeated dinosaur deck profile. You guys heard that right, first place undefeated dinosaur deck profile. Took this deck to my locals, did really really well with it. Played against Labyrinth, Tempai, and honestly let me tell you guys this deck has a really really good Tempai matchup because all Tempais are just going to want to do is make you go first. And if you guys know dinosaurs, you guys know this deck can go first and second. And so the fact that they made me go first, all I did was just made a board of negates, interruptions, and especially if you know uh, how to stop Tempai, you pr practically got game right there. Uh, but yeah, again, this deck uh, have performed really well, exceeded my expectations. I did find a lot of different lines of plays uh, within this deck. And I will tell you guys um, that no one was expecting this deck. Uh, so I guess, you know, that I, I had the surprise factor there. They they were thinking that I was playing Tempai. They're like, oh, uh, he's going... Uh, <laughs> He's, he wants to go second, especially when I win the dice roll. Uh, I was trying not to win the dice roll, to be honest with you. I was trying to have my opponent win the dice roll because they're always going to want to go first. And if they make me go first, I kind of have an idea of what they're playing. Because, um, you know, again, it's either if your opponent is making, making you go first, 9 times out of 10, they are playing Tempai. But I wasn't. <laughs> so when I would win the dice roll, I'll go second. Um, they're thinking I'm playing Tempai. And I just find that really funny. But, yeah, uh, this deck list is the same as my last deck profile. So um, if you haven't already, go check out my last deck profile. I do. I am going to explain, uh, well, I did explain um, uh, why I ran these cards choices for this deck profile. Uh, I am kind of going to go uh, through these cards pretty, pretty quickly and just briefly explain on um, the impact on what these cards did in the tournament. But yeah, without further ado, let's just dive on into this deck profile. All right. Uh, we ran triple uh, soul, eating, soul Eating Over Raptor. This card is really good. I played against a lot of Drolls, and this card does know how to play around Drolls really well. Again, you don't have to add. You can just send, and that's what I had to do because my opponent would always have the draw in hand, which I find that pretty annoying, to be honest with you. But again, you do have the option to send from deck to grave, so I did do that a lot in this tournament. Um, the one miss, I, I'm just asking for this card to be to come back to two at least, because honestly, you can ash this card. There's different ways you get, you know, you guys can uh, play around miss. Uh, but I, I just miss, I just miss miss being back, uh, you know, to two at least. You know, I'm just asking for miss to be back to two. I don't want it to three anymore. I understand why I don't have it at three. But please, Konami, bring this back to two. Um, yeah, miss, miss did really well. <laughs> um, I will say that there's one opponent that uh, you know didn't know what, what miss did. And if you guys didn't know, I mean, it, it's it's basically the old saying in summoning. So yeah, this card's really broken, guys. I just we just needed to two. Uh, we ran triple uh, baby Ceratosaurus with the one petite. Again, really good cards. Uh, one Anamandor and Archosaur. Uh, the one Kayo. Uh, this card did really really well. There's times where I, I would attack directly with it, so that's why I don't run Dying Rex anymore. Uh, I run the uh, one Meteoris and run Frostoceratosaurus. Love this package, guys. Love this package, guys. Love the Ground Xeno package. Um, I didn't go into the Frostosaurus. Um, I don't think I went to this at all, actually. Um, I went more of um, this. I added this off of Ground Xeno a lot more than I added uh, Frostosaurus. Uh, only because, again, like I explained in my deck profile, that if uh, if you were to add Frostoceratosaurus, um, you basically it requires your opponent not to kind of have hand traps in their hands just for you guys to play this um line of combos uh but nine, out of, nine times out of ten they're always going to run hand traps so it's safer to always add a meteors to your uh to your hand off of ground Zeno. but yeah the card performed really really well uh double scrap raptor with one scrap chimera i don't know why people are taking this out this package is insane uh there's times where you know, again, and I knew it. I knew it. I knew my opponents were going to have hand traps to kind of stop uh, some of my combos. And there's times where, like, either they stop the ground Xano, they ash it. And then I had the field spell and scrap raptor, and I just go through that line of combo. Um, again, if you guys haven't seen that combo, check out my uh, other deck profile, uh, my other combo videos of, of, of uh, yeah, of the scrap package because um, <laughs> the, the, this package is insane. This package is definitely insane. So I'll definitely check out uh, my combo tutorial, guys. Um, double UCT, really, really good card, guys. Uh, one Pank, good card. One Kaiju, really good card. Again, more of a board breaker approach. 
Again, my my main objective for this deck was just to go second and to you know break my opponent's board. Uh, but yeah, a triple uh, Lost World, really good card, guys. Honestly, there's times where they forgot that you know if they have a token that they can't target monsters, and it, it was just really funny. Uh, uh, triple um, Fossil Dig, <laughs> Triple Rota. I mean, who doesn't want Triple Rota in their deck? Uh, triple Ground Zeno. Really, really good card, guys. It's so it's so crazy that it's either you use this and beta hand trap and then go to your other uh, line of plays, or you just go through this and if they don't have a response, I mean, you, you're just practically gonna go go insane, go nuts. Um, I did add um, either Meteoris with this, or I actually added the Scrap Raptor off of this, because Scrap Raptor is a tuner, so people keep forgetting about that. But yeah, this and Fossil Dig is, is crazy. Crazy together. A uh, double uh, evolution pill, really good card. Uh, one prosperity, really good card. Uh, triple droplets, again, really really good card. There's times where they they try to imperm or Valor. You can just dodge it off a droplet, and you know proceed with breaking your opponent's board, which is funny. Uh, triple super poly. <laughs> I cannot tell you guys that I actually broke so many boards with super poly. Because my opponents were not expecting me maining this at all. So, um, yeah, this card's crazy, guys. I won a lot of games with it. I'm not going to even lie. Really, really, really good card. Um, triple Dark Ruler No More. This card's, in, this card's nuts. This card's insane, too. Um, yeah, it helped me break a lot of boards. Um, then, again, there's no hand traps. Um, again, you just kind of want to let your opponent build the board. And then you're just going to break it. Pretty simple. Um, you go to the extra deck. You know, got to got to have our direct tokens, right? Got to have that. Uh, we'll start off with uh, relinquish, uh, cross sheep, IP. I went to IP a lot more than I thought I did. Uh, SP went into these two a lot more. Uh, scrap wyvern went into that a lot. Um, Mech knight. This card won me a game, so it's crazy. It's crazy, especially with the IP uh, going into a uh, Mech knight. Really, really good card. So, yeah, Big Knight Evermax, insane. Uh, one Dolka, one Lagia, one Lars. <laughs> Wouldn't change this at all. This card's really good. I mean, Lars is just broken. They can't really target it. So, and it's a double Omni Negate in this deck. So, it's insane. Uh, we won the. I run the one um, Typhon. I haven't went into it at all, but it does come up. I promise you guys it does come up. And trust me, it does come up. So, But I haven't went into it. Uh, one Omega. Didn't go into it at all. Uh, one Mud Dragon. One Garua. Went into these two a lot, especially Garua. Um, again, there's times where my opponent... When I used to hear probably my opponent looked at their board, they're like, you can't Garua it. Um, but I definitely Mud Dragoned it, especially during the... Um, what matchup was it? I think it was a Labyrinth matchup. He didn't have the same, but it had the same attribute and different types. I forgot what board that he ended on. Um, but, yeah. Again, they weren't expecting the, the Gruera and the Mud Dragon. But Well, they expected the Gruera, my bad. They weren't expecting the Mud Dragon. So, pretty, pretty good. Um, one of this card didn't go into it at all. Just banished it off of Prosperity. So, yeah. Uh, one Transanosaurus. Really, really good card, but I didn't go into it either. Uh, there's one time where I banished it because I didn't, I didn't, uh, you know, had the cards to go into it anyway. So I was like, okay, I'll just banish it off of Pross and just go to a different line of play. And it's funny because uh, the game kind of uh, went a little longer than I expected to for it to go. And there's times where I was like, shoot, I do need this. I did needed it. So, but it's cool. <laughs> Happens. Um, extra deck, not extra deck, side deck. Sorry. Uh, triple evenly. Uh, didn't cite it. No, I didn't cite it. I know maybe. Yeah, actually no. I cited against Labyrinth, but I never saw it. So, but yeah, it's still a really good card. I'm not changing it. I I, I love this uh, side deck by the way, especially for the tournament that I was in. Uh, double uh, dimensional barrier, one rivalry of warlords. I might take this out because um, there's a lot of times where I did uh, cite two of these a lot more, and I wish I had the third one. But um, riv rivalry rivalry is good. Um, but I didn't really use it that much. Uh, triple Judgment. Really, really good card. I think I'd always side this card in, especially going first. Because I don't know if my opponent's going to just go the board breaker route. So you're just going to have to uh, side in Judgment. But Judgment did really, really well. 
uh, double lightning storm with one harpies uh cited this in against labyrinth did really well with it um i believe i also played um how was it i think it was a tier tier limit uh, but it'll, they're running some i don't know if it was labyrinth or they're, they're running like some trap tricks cards but um yeah these cards performed really well in that matchup as well <laughs> i forgot i don't know if i used it or not but i, I believe I, I i believed i used it um triple ghost sister and spooky dogwood i uh, hate this card guys i want this card banned this card's unfair um surprisingly i didn't go into it at all i didn't i well i didn't draw into it at all um i did cite this against tempai but i didn't i didn't draw wait hold on scratch that no no i did draw i did draw it once i remember i did draw it once and um uh, my opponent had a scoop because this card is unfair so but yeah uh, again uh, that's it for my deck profile guys if you guys want to uh, see uh, my explanation on my uh, card choices definitely check out my other deck profile guys uh, but yeah again um, if you guys haven't already definitely uh, smash that subscribe button comment down below on what you guys think um, and yeah this is your boy Donald John here signing out peace